Okay, so we are looking into an uh, incubator project over here. It's a model incubator which is meant to provide low cost incubator for the people. You know, every year a lot of uh, child children dies out of <coughs> you know diseases like jaundice and all uh, because uh, in developing countries, uh, you know, many nursing homes and child care centers they cannot for the incubators which comes quite costly so basic fundamental of incubator is after birth the temperature of the baby gets reduced and they're they are prone to jaundices okay which can be reduced by exposing the baby to blue light fine so this is our simple model incubator if we can show you from different angles this is how it looks like now it comes with an lcd okay which uh, displays the value several value and we finally have this blue lights that are going to warm the baby and this is our main circuit now talking about the circuit first if you look in the screen this is microcontroller arduino microcontroller it's connected with lcd if you look at this wires over here this is a wire that goes into your lcd okay now uh, this microcontroller is fed with three sensors one is this sensor uh, here which is a LDR sensor which senses the light this sensor is LM35 which senses the temperature value and uh, this is a heartbeat sensor which works on the principle of pulse oximeter fundamentally whenever a child is put under uh, care what we are measuring is that the temperature in the chamber shouldn't be too high. Once it is too high, the light, um, you know, some percentage of light will be turned off such that the temperature is reduced. At the same time, there should be an automated announcement. At the same time, um, you know, an SMS, uh, SMS should uh, go to a doctor. Uh, SMS should go to a doctor notifying uh, about the ill condition of the child. Now. Uh, this is our microcontroller. You can see that there are two relays here. Uh, these two relays are for uh, each of these two lights. One relay drives one light, this other relay drives another light. Now this relay is given input voltage from a plus 18 volt um, uh, power supply. If you can see this transformer, this is a 3 amps 12 volt transformer because of 3 amps you know uh, whenever we convert it to DC we get around 18 volt and this is the simple 18 volt uh, power supply if I can show you from the other angle okay uh, this one here it's called bridge rectifier and then we use two capacitors you know to generate uh, plus 12 and minus 12 however I mean plus 18 and minus 18 however minus 18 volt is not used now uh, the output of this transformer is given as input of uh, input to this relay fundamental thing what uh, you got to understand is this is a 12 volt relay that means once you supply 12 volt to relay relay switches on and once you remove that 12 volt from the relay relay switches off the condition that we are looking for here is if the uh, heart rate is low it should generate an alarm then if temperature is quite high it should turn off a light so my, it's the microcontroller which is getting the sensors values that is LDR value and temperature sensor value so it's microcontroller who has to decide when the relay should be on and when the relay should be off Fundamentally, because relay works with 12 volt and microcontroller can supply only 5 volt, our microcontroller cannot directly turn on the relay. So what micro, what microcontroller does is, uh, the first thing uh, that you have to understand is there are there is one IC here which is called the optocoupler MCT2E. Now microcontroller supplies 5 volt to this optocoupler whenever it wants a relay to be turned on. At the input stage, this optocoupler is having a photo transmitter. So whenever microcontroller gives 5 volt, it starts transmitting. At the other end, the receiver, I mean receiver end, it has got a photo transistor. So immediately as light falls on the photo transistor, photo transistor start uh, transmitting. So in order to uh, activate the relay, we have built one more power supply, which is a 12 volt power supply. You can see there is one amps, uh, transformer the output goes to a stage where there are four diodes acting as bridge rectifier then 
there are bridge rectifier and then there are two ICs uh, connected with heat sink. These are 7812 and 7912 followed, I mean preceded by two capacitors followed by two capacitors to filter out uh, the AC voltage. Now, the uh, I mean this is given as input to this optocoupler pin number 5 and pin number 4 gets connected with the relay. So whenever microcontroller supplies 5 volt to optocoupler, optocoupler's receiver will be connected through this photo transistor such that you know this 12 volt gets into the relay, relay gets activated. So this is the basic uh, circuit principle that uh, it works into. Now if we look into the overall coding aspect and uh, how basically this whole thing works. So we have a space over here uh, where we intend the child to be put. This of course should be entirely closed out ideally such that it can retain the heat and this is the entire system. Now we'll simulate few conditions over uh, here you know uh, in order for you to understand uh, properly. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to increase the intensity of the light and we are going to check what is the outcome of it. So I'll be using the zoom of I mean uh, the flash of a mobile to uh, increased light. <coughs> see, as soon as the light is increased, you can see it's uh, closed out. I'll be supplying it with heavy light. The moment I supply it with uh, heavy light, this is closed. So we say that if there are too much of natural light, under that situation, there would not be any requirement for uh, artificial light. So incubator will be closed out and as I remove this, of course, this light will be again glowing. Now, the next thing is uh, temperature sensor. Uh, so when the uh, temperature of the child uh, starts uh, getting... So wherever the temperature of the child starts getting increased and... Uh, See, now I have put, uh, I mean, I'm giving high temperature near this sensor. So we simulate the condition where the body temperature of the child is getting increased. Now, if that is the case, you can see one light is turned off. We say that whenever temperature is increased, we do not want to flood the child with too much of light so we reduce the temperature and if at all the temperature starts getting normalized whenever the temperature start getting normalized uh, the uh, buzzer should be off and the light should come into normalcy uh, the camera is not showing the lcd value properly so if i can read you the temperature value is reading around 40 and then it's come back to normalcy and every time there will be changes it's so uh, every time there is every time there is a change in the criteria uh, there will be a message that will be generated which will have messages like light ok and the value of light if you can see this one 216 and then whenever uh, temperature was high it had uh, given the message and then whenever temperature was high it had given the message that uh, temperature was high if you can see this so uh, this is what the basic uh, principle of working is the way that we abuse two relays over here you can use as many number of relays you um, can use and you can use any number of flies only thing you have to do is keep on increasing the number of relays and connect each light with the relay so that you can have a greater control so talking about the interfacing uh, what we have done is we have connected this microcontroller arduino microcontroller with our pc this is a c sharp dot net uh, program is a C sharp dot net simple C sharp dot net program which is reading the value from microcontroller. Now microcontroller is supplying two sets of values to PC. One set of value is high temperature greater than twenty three thousand five hundred fifty two. 
so uh, as i mean the uh, whole logic is whenever there is an alert uh, the uh, screen color it is going to announce that uh, so microcontroller is basically supplying two types of values one is info another one is alert alert whenever the criteria gets changed info in any other circumstances so uh, there is one more condition over here which is heart rate variability now what we are going to measure is the heart rate of the child and if i can read you the value it's showing around 172 now if you could uh, just remove your hand a little uh, just remove your hand I, once you do that or once you can close your uh, breathe for long enough period of time uh, we'll be able to see that you know that heart rate variability will be coming down to a very low value heart rate variability will be coming down to almost zero and it's going to uh, uh, give the error now, if you could uh, try you know put your finger and try to hold your breath if you can uh, if you see over here if you look over here if you hold your breath if you can if it's difficult for you you can take breath but if you can keep holding your breath this will keep on coming down this value is going to keep on coming down okay and when it's going to be significantly low it's going to come down to say 110 something i'm going to show you how exactly to be done and when you increase your bit now that's going to be identified by the blinking of this light over here so the faster you take your breath this light will be glowing that much faster so this is going to determine the rate at which your heart is breathing so if you run around and come and put your finger over here this is going to you know blink at a faster rate so this is basically the overall logic how this entire system is going to work with.